And I remember going through this prayer, our Lord is prayer. And this part stuck me again. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. When I became conscious to the words I was saying, I started to remove that, that part of the prayer. Because I couldn't mean it, and I really wanted to trust God. I can't say that. That is, that, I, can't, I don't mean it. I don't want to lie to God. Who knows what I'm feeling? So I started to skip that part of the prayer. Until one time, again, like this little inspiration came to me and said, I hope you know that that prayer is not man-made. That is Jesus himself who gave it. And if you believe him as God Almighty, who cannot make a mistake, you can't try to edit his prayer. You have to change, put it back, and ask him again what did he mean by putting that, if he knew that maybe that was possible. I remember one time I started to say it, of course, because that made much more sense. Then I didn't know how to forgive people, and I'm so angry, and yet I still need him to protect me. Again, I felt like I was on my knees, and I begged him, I surrender. It was the first time in my life I understood what it meant to surrender. I give you everything. Show me how to forgive if you think it is even possible. After that, I felt peace just because I only, I gave it to God. And I remember my day became 27 rosaries from like 6 o'clock until 7 o'clock at night. And then I had three, four hours. I didn't have something to do. And I remember when I was in school doing the divine mercy, I said, I should Ask God this, because these three hours, the, the enemy, the devil is like just like killing me with all this inspiration of the anger and the fear. I started to say the divine mercy every day again and all the time until I fell asleep. And I said 40 divine mercy chaplet every day from 7 o'clock until 10 to 11 night when I closed my eyes. And I cannot tell you how much peace I felt just by saying, Jesus, I trust in you. I trust in you. And something will come and steal my thought again, like, what do you trust? And I will say it again, I trust in you. You died for me. And feeling his mercy, his mercy that he loves even those who are hurting us, even if he doesn't like what is in them, that is making them do that, drew me closer to him and made me feel that even the people who are doing this, there is a possibility to love them. I put my trust in him. I remember reading something in the Bible, this verse that really helped me a lot. If you have trust, small as a mustard seed, even mountains can move. If you tell them to move, nothing shall be impossible to you. And for me, all I wanted is for these killers who are coming to search for us, that they would never find us. I thought about Daniel. I'm like, if God, if they, he was in the, in the den of lions and they didn't eat him, maybe you can make it possible that the killers will not find us. Even if they are here, they won't find us. My trust was growing so strong. 